we're going to use the DIY helicopter keyboard mod to start the engine of the default Robinson R22 and FSX. We're starting with a cold and dark cockpit. The engine is off. If you've started the flight with the engine running, see this video for the R22 shutdown procedure. You can print out the free R22 checklist from the DIY Flight Sims website. The link is in the video description. This checklist has been modified to work with the keyboard mod and FSX. Select the 2D cockpit with the main panel, collective, and pedestal panel visible. Okay, so let's check off these checklist items. Flight controls, full travel. Collective down, and adjust the friction if needed. Throttle closed. If you have an available slider control, you can assign it as the helicopter throttle. Governor off. Carb heat off. Mixture rich. All switches off and make sure that clutch is disengaged. Altimeter set. Okay. Now we're really ready to start this helicopter. Master switch on. Prime by using the throttle. Clear the area. Strobes on. Now to turn the key, press select then press the start button four times. Then engage the clutch and turn on the alternator. That's the start procedure for a real Robinson R22. But in Flight Simulator X, that kills the engine. So here's a slightly different technique to get your motor running. Turn the key like before, select then press the start button repeatedly, hit the clutch, alternator, and hit that start button some more. Come on baby, come on baby, come on baby, come on baby. Now the rotors have started turning. And okay, you can lay off the starter now. Check that the starter light is off. Set your throttle to 55%. Check oil pressure in the green. Radio on. If you don't see a radio, it might be hiding under the pedestal window. The clutch light should be out. Warm up at 70 to 75 percent RPM. The engine gauges should be in the green. We're going to check the magnetos by using these three buttons. Press select, then press the off button to turn the key to the right mag. 
you should see a slight reduction in RPM, and it's barely noticeable in FSX. Now press this button to turn the key back to both, and the RPM should come back up to where it was. Push off two times to click the key to the left mag. Again, check for the RPM drop, and then click back to both. Check the carb heat. This is the carburetor air temperature gauge. And observe another slight RPM drop. Carb heat off. We do a Sprague clutch check in the R22, but FSX does not simulate the needle split between the engine and rotor RPM. Check the doors. Governor on. Full throttle. We're supposed to check our warning horn at 97% RPM, but FSX doesn't completely simulate that either. Lights as required. All warning lights should be out now. So now we're ready to do some flying. <laughs> 